my guys? I know it's been a long time since I have done another video. I know I keep slacking it, but we are back. Out here in AZ is too hot, so my boy Coda, Chico, they out here. I mean, in here. Hey, hey, hey. He, he's too lazy now. But anyways, how are y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I've been really busy lately um, with work, with a bunch of things. But anyways, I got a problem now. So today while I was driving, um, my check engine light turned on and I was like, bruh, what is going on? So I'm thinking it's a sensor or something. But anyways, problem is um, I only have this month to do my emissions. So I'm in AZ, so emissions is pretty easy to pass. As long as your check engine light isn't on, you're good. So what I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna run the OBT, OBD2 scanner. So we'll see what's up. I don't personally have one. I probably should invest in one, but I'm probably gonna go to AutoZone right now and see what's up. But, oh, don't look at those pictures. But I got a package in today, it's nothing big. Um, so let's show you what it is. So as you guys know, uh, on my Nismo bumper that I have, I have no mesh on it. So I just bought some black mesh on it for it. So I'm gonna be installing that too. And we're gonna be running the OBD2 scanner, seeing what's wrong with the car. And we're gonna be throwing this on too in this video. My car is currently out on the street right now, but as you guys can see, no vents. So I'm gonna be throwing that on. Let me, guys, let me show you guys the check engine light. There it is. Currently 113, but, but I don't have any idling issues or anything. So I'm for sure guessing that it's a sensor or something. I'm thinking, I am thinking that it is an O2 sensor, honestly. But sheesh, she is looking good. Also, I do want to go over something real quick. I am doing a phase two of this car. So from now on, all this is going to change in a bit. Well, not all of it, but I'm going to fix the little dents here and there, panel gaps and all that stuff. I'm going to switch the splitters because that is uh, like an ABS plastic. So it's turning into bacon out here. Look at this. Wavy. And that front splitter is a dunner and yeah like see i gotta fix this right here so a lot of things i need to do so it is currently the next morning um i did find out what was wrong with that check engine light um it was an o2 sensor so i, I was i don't know if i told you guys already but i was driving and there was something on the road i ran over it i heard like you know typical every every time i run something over i always hear the same thing but I guess this time it ripped the O2 sensor. Here, let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. Where's it at? Right there. It's right there. So, yep. It is a pain lifting this car up. It's so annoying. I'm just doing this before work because I don't want to be dragging that sensor. So let's lift this thing up. Just enough so we can rip that sensor off. So this doesn't look too good. Um, this is part of the wiring harness and it's completely messed up. So now I gotta rewire all this, buy a new plug and rewire all this. Great, I don't even know how to deal with wiring, but I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm just gonna tuck this in somewhere. So it's gonna be my best option right now. Man, I'm so mad. So I just tucked it right here for right now, but, um. That's not gonna go anywhere, but still, I don't know. I hate 
wiring so much but it is what it is i was gonna cut this off i thought i was hoping it was just a sensor but the sensor is right here i was just gonna cut it off and just wait till the new one came in but it doesn't even matter because i need to buy this part so yeah i gotta wait now i gotta order this and wait for that but yeah your boy needs a your boy needs a new white pipe right here but everything under here seems fine i'm just double checking everything um this is pretty beat up already but it is what it is and yeah steering rack is fine suspension is fine everything's gucci just a slight little change in today's video um i'm still gonna be putting that mesh grill on it's just uh I need to change my girlfriend's oil after work so i'm going to be doing that on her car and then yeah we'll be putting that on should be easy just got done changing my girlfriend's oil cold start cold start on the roller Sheesh. okay she's a little shy this is cleaner than mine This is probably the lowest mile Corolla that I've seen. Sheesh. Oof, it's bright right now, but anyways. Um, let's get this mesh on real quick. And after that, I need to wash my car. Also, my, uh, the plug. Also, the plug started, uh, started, uh, if bell again and i need to i, I think i'm gonna just need to zip uh, zip tie it onto something so yeah i'm gonna lift my car up and do that but first i'm just gonna do the mesh first because i've been putting that off too much uh, this video has lasted me like about a week already So just like that, the bumper is off. And I honestly don't know how I'm gonna mount the, the mesh. So I'll figure it out right now and I'll tell you guys later. Okay, so the mesh grill is, it's all on. Sheesh. It looks really good now. I just did it cause I always find grocery bags and trash in there. And also I thought it was a sensor that was, uh, you know, making that scraping sound, but turns out it was part of this fender liner um i don't have i haven't took off the fender liner i probably should but um yeah i just cut it off because i mean i don't want water flipping all inside the engine bay so so let's throw this bumper back on and we're all set before i put it on i did forget i almost forgot but i just threw on some screws because there's some like little tabs or whatever where you could put the screws on and yeah and bam the mesh is in you can see that little screw but that's all right but it looks good matches the top all right this clip is a little windy but i was going to wash my car but it's monsoon monsoon season here and that does not look good but here's the last look of you can't even tell but i just only did it for the trash again so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later give a, a proper outro real quick but thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys next time sorry if it was windy